us in the real estate industry, we are considered an essential business. Contracts are still being written and closings are still happening. Good news for us. The market is different though. Right now it appears to be more of a buyer's market than a seller's market, meaning the buyer can add more contingencies to the contract that, than would otherwise be accepted by a seller in a seller's market. The contingency I'm seeing again on a regular basis is the sale of other property contingency. I frequently get questions about this addendum and the effect of it. I get questions about the effect of the addendum, the effect of the waiver of the contingency, and how to handle when the seller really wants the backup contract. As to the effect of the addendum, which is titled Addendum for Sale of Other Property by Buyer, it makes the obligation of the buyer to perform under the contract contingent on buyer's receipt of proceeds from the sale of his or her current home. Under the contingency, buyer has the right to walk away from the purchase if he or she has not sold his or her current property by the date specified. That is a pretty big contingency for the seller to accept. Therefore, the addendum does have some protection for the seller. It provides that if the seller accepts another written offer while his or her property is subject to the first contract with the contingency, the seller can force the first buyer to waive the contingency or that first contract terminates and the second contract becomes primary. Under the addendum for sale of other property, the first buyer, upon notice from the seller that he or she has accepted another offer, is given the right to waive the contingency or let the contract terminate. Therefore, termination is in the sole control of the buyer, not the seller. I've had several sellers call to tell me that they tried to exercise this so-called knockout or kickout provision in hopes to move forward with the second contract, only to have the first buyer waive the contingency even though the buyer does not even have his home under contract and the seller asks, can't the first buyer be forced to terminate when it is clear that he or she cannot close without the proceeds and there is little, if any, chance a sale will take place in time? My answer to that is no. The choice is the buyer's. Even though by waiving that contingency, the buyer will be in default of the contract if they can't close because they didn't get their sales proceeds, and therefore will be in default and subject to all the legal remedies afforded the seller, the buyers can choose to take that risk. Knowing some buyers are willing to accept that risk, I think it is prudent to negotiate an amount of an additional interest money that's required to waive the contingency to an amount sufficient to make the buyer think twice about waiving it. The additional amount needs to be considered as enough compensation to the seller for giving up a backup contract. Most importantly, you must not ever accept the second offer as anything other than a backup contract. If your seller signs or accepts the second offer without the backup addendum and the first buyer waives the contingency, you now have two contracts on your property. Never ever accept the second offer as a primary offer without the backup addendum until the first has been terminated. And please note that without an accepted second contract in backup position, seller has no right to force the buyer to exercise the kickout provision. Now, to bring this issue even more current, be careful on what I call domino closings. Those are closings under contracts dependent on the performance of another. If the first buyer's sale contract has that COVID-19 addendum attached and the closing is delayed pursuant to those provisions, how does that affect the next contract? I discussed that addendum in a previous video. The COVID-19 addendum can potentially modify the closing date of one contract, which materially affects the other. For example, if buyer's sale gets extended under the COVID-19 addendum, buyer will not get their sales proceeds by the time specified in the sale of the other property addendum. And that addendum says if buyer doesn't receive the proceeds or waive the contingency on or before the date they're in, that contract terminates automatically. The addendum includes the time is of the essence clause, making strict performance and adherence to the deadlines imperative. I hope this is helping you as you 
proceed under the market, and I hope you are staying safe and practicing safe social distancing rules. I miss seeing you, but I look forward to seeing you soon. Allegiance Title is your trusted resource for results.